Plenty of people are desperate to get out of their homes and see some sign of normalcy again. In Snohomish County, they'll be able to experience that today thanks to the Snohomish Farmers Market reopening. King 5's Kelly Greenberg is live in Snohomish to tell us what shoppers can expect. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, and that's the big thing. They want to give people a normal experience, something like what they're used to feeling, although there are going to be some changes this year, but they want to make sure people have access to fresh food, that they can help small businesses. The biggest change that people will notice most likely is while they're used to seeing the Snohomish Farmers Market here in the historic downtown, they've actually temporary, temporarily moved it down to Stocker Farms. Uh, that locations about a mile from here, but at that location, they're going to be able to spread out the booths about 10 feet apart. They're also going to be able to avoid some construction obstacles that they're currently facing here downtown. Now, last year was the Snohomish County Farmers Market's biggest year, and they're hoping that this year, while there will be some changes, that people are still going to come out and support them. Now, when you get to the market, what you're going to notice is that you can only go one direction. It's a one-way uh, road through the market. You also they're asking that you stay six feet apart. And when you enter and exit the market, they're asking that you wash your hands at hand washing stations. Now they are looking to have some fun with this as well, make light of the situation. They're actually doing a face mask modeling competition. You can go to the market, take a picture with your face mask. You can post on their social media sites and they're actually giving away um, a dozen eggs to the winner. So trying to make light of a situation that they're in right now. So those are the big changes that you're gonna notice. One other thing that we've seen a lot of big box retailers do that the Snohomish County Farmers Market is gonna begin doing today is they wanna make sure seniors and people who are considered high risk can shop on their own. So the market at two 30 to 3 p.m. They're going to allow seniors, people who consider themselves high risk to coronavirus, they're going to be able to exclusively shop the market in that half hour window. Then from 3 to 7 p.m., the market's going to be open to everyone. Again, it's down at Stocker Farms, a little bit different, but what they're hoping is that people can come out, get their fresh produce, and have that sense of, yes, this is my local farmer's market, and this is what feels normal to me. For now, live in Snohomish, Callie Greenberg. King 5 News. It's one of the best farmer markets, farmers markets around for sure. Callie, thank you. Well, new this morning, Seattle is seeing a massive drop in the number of job openings right now. A new report from Glassdoor found nearly 35% drop from March to April. March saw over 122,000 job openings, but by the end of April, less than 80,000 openings, which indicates jobs are being wiped out during the pandemic. The report shows Washington as a whole saw a similar decline. Healthcare remains the industry group with the most job openings across the country. New security patrols are coming to the Chinatown International District after several break-ins there. Crimes have had business owners on edge as they deal with the hardship. King 5's Ted Land reports from the neighborhood. Private security patrols will watch over this neighborhood overnight. With so many shops boarded up and not many eyes on the streets, businesses here have become a target for criminals. We've been hit so hard. In March, as businesses began reeling from closures caused by the coronavirus pandemic and customers disappeared, vandals shattered a window at Jade Garden Restaurant in Seattle's Chinatown International District. This is like a punch to the gut. Recently, burglars broke into Loving Hut Restaurant twice, stealing computer tablets they used to process orders and vandalizing the inside of the business. The Chinatown International District Business Improvement Area just announced new overnight security patrols to keep an eye on the streets and prevent break-ins. Homeland Patrol Division Security, a local company, offered to provide the service free as part of other downtown Seattle patrols. I spoke on the phone with their co-owners. We already have cars, you know, patrolling in the area. Maybe we can help out some of these businesses that are closed that don't have uh, anyone coming to work every day. Give them a little peace of mind. They say a marked car will roam at random overnight hours, seven days a week, until orders for business closures are lifted. We can be those eyes for you. If they notice anything suspicious, they can call Seattle police right away. There's a Facebook group for business owners and their customers here in the Chinatown International District. And every few days for the past few weeks, there's been another post about someone breaking into a restaurant or a shop. So they're hoping these extra patrols will deter a lot of those property crimes. In the Chinatown International District, Ted Land, King 5 News. 
Washington's COVID-19 response team now says 60% of coronavirus deaths in the state are linked to long-term care facilities. Officials say there were 507 deaths tied to such facilities as of May 2nd. At the time, that was 61% of coronavirus deaths in Washington. There were nearly 2,900 positive cases linked to these facilities, representing 19% of total cases last week. Nursing homes have been particularly hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic, with the nation's first major outbreak happening at the Life Care Center of Kirkland. That's where more than 40 people died. Governor Jay Inslee says large-scale antibody testing could be coming to Washington. He says state officials are in talks with manufacturer Abbott Laboratories. They're looking at the possibility of expanding antibody testing across the state. Governor Inslee hopes this would help retroactively measure the spread of the virus and could show how active coronavirus is in our state. New research shows the University of Washington's antibody tests are accurate. The virology lab tested more than a thousand samples. Some were from before the pandemic began and others were from confirmed cases. Researchers say the test was more than 99% effective. Mimi, Walla Walla health officials are now backtracking what we reported yesterday when they said that they were finding people intentionally trying to get the virus in so-called COVID-19 parties. Well, a spokesperson for the health department there now says they want to recall that interview. The director of the health department says the officials were misinformed about the intent of those parties and that those who attended did not try to contact the virus on purpose. The department is expected to release more details today. In Whatcom County, Bellingham Public School Superintendent Greg Baker will hold another virtual conversation today. Among the topics, what to do about this year's graduation for high school seniors. Many of them, of course, anxious to learn if they'll have graduation ceremonies and what that could look like. Other topics will include remote learning and meals. The Zoom meeting takes place today at noon with a link on the district's website. Students at the University of Washington uh, in Puget Sound, Tacoma, getting some extra help. The Hearst Foundation has awarded the university $100,000. The Hearst Foundation has awarded millions of dollars in grants over the years to several organizations across the country as well affected by coronavirus. The University of Puget Sound plans to grant uh, scholarships to undergrad students soon. Mimi. There's an effort to help people in Pierce County. One church has started a unique effort to help people regardless of the person's faith. King 5's Amy Moreno is live this morning to talk about the Jesus Jeep. Amy, good morning. Yeah, you know, it started here in Pierce County, a church known as Our Church 253. Uh, they called it their Jesus Jeep, and then Auburn Volkswagen jumped in and offered an SUV and Atlas to the partnership, and it gives them the chance to go out into the community and try and meet all sorts of needs. Now, in some cases, it means delivering groceries to families or helping people who just can't get out of their homes. Uh, they shared some video with us when they went out on some deliveries. Yesterday, they took a delivery out to Anderson Island. They took the ferry over to help stock up a family of seven that wasn't able to get across and they needed help. They all, they've also filled up the vehicles and taken them to motels that house families that are dealing with homelessness. They also use the vehicles just to go out to homes for people who are feeling isolated, discouraged. They'll go out, they'll start honking, yelling, um, tr yell out encouraging messages and just trying to brighten the days of those who are feeling socially isolated. And while they say it's their faith that motivates them, this group says their work is for anyone in the community who needs their help. So it really feels like if that's a vehicle that's available, no pun intended, <laughs> Um, we're going to do it and we're going to use it however we can, whether it's pulling up at the drive-in or it's pulling up in someone's driveway or it's driving by or it's delivering, um, we're doing it. And they said they've been using it for all sorts of needs, groceries, medical needs, and uh, they have an Instagram page for their Jesus Jeep. You can reach out through that, through their Facebook page. And once again, it does not matter what your faith is. They said they want to serve Pierce County, and they're just asking for anyone to reach out to them, and they will try to help with those needs. We're live this morning in Auburn. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Thank you very much, Amy. A unique way of helping people down in Pierce County, Jake. Yeah, just going to say, never seen a Jesus Jeep before. Very cool.